In the dark, the forms of our homes take on foreboding shapes. Monsters lurking in the shadows. As we grow up, we tell ourselves that it is all in our imagination. But there are monsters lurking in our closets. And under our beds. And in the bathroom. And in the kitchen. And even snuggled around us in our blankets. Cockroaches scuttle about. And spiders lurk in dark corners. Outside, our buildings create ideal habitats for arthropods to live out their lives. Welcome to the strange and alien world of your own home. Meet your most numerous roommate, the dust mite. Actually, you're probably surrounded by them right now as you watch this video. They're in your furniture, in your bed, and in your carpet. They feed on human and pet skin flakes, as well as various molds. Their fecal matter is one of the major contributors to home dust. So that household dust you occasionally get around to cleaning off surfaces is actually mite poop. Wandering the open plains of your carpet, the flamboyantly colored varied carpet beetle moves about. They are searching for a place to lay their eggs. The larvae are fuzzy creatures that hide beneath furniture, like your bed. They feed on natural fibers and can cause damage to clothing and musical instruments. One of the more destructive organisms to wander inside your house and outside it are termites. These small, blind insects are actually related to cockroaches, but are eusocial like ants. They are polymorphic with workers and fearsome soldiers. Uniquely, they are able to digest cellulose and wood with the help of special bacteria they harbor in their gut, chewing a network of tunnels and galleries within wood, weakening it. In nature, this is an important step in the decomposition of fallen trees, but unfortunately our homes are full of potential sites for termites to set up colonies and consume. Another species that can damage wooden structures are carpenter ants. Unlike termites, these ants do not eat wood, but they do carve out galleries in it. Similar to termites, though, they are polymorphic with both fast, nimble minor workers and powerful majors that back them up. In the ecosystem of your home, these small animals are the prey, and they are hunted by predators. This prehistoric looking creature is a pseudoscorpion. It prowls your closet and library, hunting for mites, beetle larvae, and other small invertebrates. This little creature helps keep the more harmful creatures in check, protecting your stuff from damage. Incredible that a creature that first crawled out of the sea in the Devonian period some 400 million years ago, is perfectly at home in the modern house. Spiders are the top predators of our homes. Many spiders, like the cellar spider and even black widows, will build their webs in the corner of a room, hoping to catch insects that wander into the home. The side of a garage in a backyard garden Bathed in the warmth of the sun, it is a perfect place for box elder bugs to reproduce. In the fall, they may seek the warmth of indoors. They produce foul-tasting compounds which discourage predation, allowing them to live in peace in this little opening in the wall. And it is good that they do taste bad, as they share this opening with the striking and flamboyant bull jumping spider. Beautiful black and white markings adorn its legs and abdomen, glistening emerald chalicera red fangs, and large forward-facing eyes. These jumping spiders are giants compared to many other of the minute members of their family, nearly an inch long. This large male rules this crack, defending it from interlopers. A small immature male spider knows to give him a wide berth, watching from a distance. The male shares this crack with a female. Like his tiny habernatus cousins, he does a visual display to impress her, waving his boldly striped front legs.
She retreats behind the board. If she isn't ready to mate now, he can wait, as long as he can keep other spiders out. Despite believing our homes to be separate from the natural world, they are just another habitat where animals battle every day for survival. Prey grazes on plentiful food, while monstrous predators lurk in the shadows, waiting to strike. Sweet dreams, everybody. Sweet dreams.